Hey Sagittarius, I'm on a rise and welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Tear It. Today we're going to delve into your energy and the person on your mind's energy. See what's going on between the two of you, okay? Um, this could play out past, present, or future. It is a timeless reading, okay? So when you're seeing it, that's when it's meant for you. Okay, take it how it resonates, if it resonates for you. Remember, you can check out my playlist for additional collective reads. I do have personals available, link down below in the description box. No, you will only ever book a personal with me through my website, okay? I want to thank you for all of the likes, the subscribes, tips, donations, bookings. It's all greatly appreciated, okay? Let's delve into Sagittarius's current energy right now, please, and thank you, Spirit. Oh, Sagittarius. What you watching? What you looking at? Mm. So you're witnessing animosity from afar. Like you're looking at a situation and you, you kind of like, damn, I'm glad I'm not a part of that. It can have something to do with the earth sign, sun, moon, horizon, um, a king of pentacles energy. This is somebody that is very masculine, but somebody that is able to take care of the people that, you know, they're over so to speak, or the people in their life, okay? This is somebody that is very materialistic, okay? Um, let's see the bottom deck. Yeah, this is somebody that... I'm not going to go as far as to say, like, they a hoe, you know, or like a player or something like that. Um, they did make you happy at one moment in time, um, but you weren't getting enough from them, okay? They were kind of breadcrumbing you, okay? That's what was hidden, what else? Yeah, the empress, because you're the empress. You're coming in as the empress, whether you're a male or a female. You're somebody that is operating in the yin energy, okay? You're somebody that is very nurturing. Um, you really care for others, all right? Um, sometimes that can be taken advantage of, okay? Sometimes somebody, well, people could view those attributes as weaknesses at certain times, but then that's when you come back and you kind of just cut them out of your life or you just manifest better things that are more in line with yourself. So you may have noticed recently a lot of people been just falling the fuck out your life and you don't really know why, you know, but you feel that elevation, mind, body and soul. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. Uh, so you were definitely involved with this person, but it's saying that you are someone that are, that is able to wear multiple hats. Okay. Like you can take care of the kids. You can work. You can have abundance. Okay. You think of new creative ideas all the fucking time and they make you money abundance. You're smart. Okay. Um, nurturing as well was another attribute. And that could have been how you was with this person. You carried your own weight. Okay. Uh, I see codependency here, Sagittarius. That's what I have to say. Even though you had your own, some part of you was codependent upon this person. I'm not so much getting an, an obsession, you know. Uh, Ten of Wands. You could have settled for less than you was worth because you had some type of codependency, some type of attachment. Could have even been like sexually to this person, okay? You know how it is, shit. Them pheromones got the going on, you know? <laughs> um, but you know, I'm just saying, like, that's the energy that I'm getting. And there's an energy of you not wanting to leave this person. Like, you know how it is when you're dating someone that you're really involved with. Like, y'all right up under each other sometimes. Like, it don't have to be like that all the time. But I mean, it's moments where you really are, you know? Let's see their energy. Hmm. Oh five of cups this person is startled by something though and it's like they're saying oh shit you know oh with a chariot what are they moving towards ace of swords they're about to speak something they about to plead their case look this person is having some type of confrontation and yet oh my goodness Okay, it's a plane flying over. That almost never happened. Some of you all could have just came from vacation or something. I'm here in Miami. Somebody was on spring break. Smash, I'm like, but if that's you. But here we have an instance where, um, and now I'm here in summer in Miami. Okay, that's your channel song, Summer in Miami. Um, 
I want to say that's Jim Jones. Okay. So it's like this person is startled, right? Y'all could have even been together. That's what I'm getting. For some of you, this is playing out like past. Okay. Smash that like button if this already happened. Because look, hangman in reverse. And the eight of wands. Shit, something come in quick. You don't have time to like sit and think about it. It's already happening, okay? That's what's happening with them. And it's like right through the door, this person is pleading their case, okay? The chariot moving forward. Somebody may have come at, at you while you was with this person. Because that's what they're thinking about. This person is replaying something. Yeah, with the emperor. They're coming in as your emperor. It's like how y'all got separated. And then the last thing that happened with them was like some kind of embarrassing. And you was there to witness it. Maybe you didn't get any backlash from it. But I get like you were seeing that shit. You're looking at it. Literally, that's what came out. With the four pinnacles, you're seeing how this person has someone clingy on to them. Somebody else that was dealing with them with the strength card. Okay. Yeah, it could be a Leo. Here's that page of wands energy. So this person is going to just walk up like, so what are you, you know, like, you know, as somebody walk up on you, pop up on your ass with the Ten of Pentacles. It's like, but we got a baby together. It's like that type of energy. Yeah, with the Ten of Swords. And they just like, ooh, like soon as that person like walk up and say whatever the hell they said, you know, but they did say something. And it was like some passionate. So it could have been, I'm not getting a flip at the mouth. You know, as much as I'm getting like something like that's indicating that they sleep together. You know? Okay, let's see what just popped out. We got the moon card here. Damn. So you just being quiet and judgment. You just judging the fuck out there. <laughs> you like, uh-uh. See, now if they deal with people like this, I'm not, fin I can't deal with this person. You know, look, Six of Swords, you're like, uh-uh. They want to fix things with you right through the door. Yeah, Ace of Swords, because the truth is out. They going to try to, with the Six of Pentacles, they going to try to, like, even shit out. Like, no, it's not that. It's, you know, but it's almost the energy of, like, what's understood don't need to be explained. I keep wanting to say in the next 48 hours. So for some of you all, you know, um, this could take place in the next two days. Here we have the devil card where this person is literally obsessing over fixing things and making things right with you. Because it's like you don't even have to say shit. You know what I'm saying? What's understood don't need to be explained, Sagittarius. It's like that's your energy towards what the fuck you witnessing, okay? Yeah, with the Ten of Swords, this person is completely burnt out as soon as it happened. They're like, oh my God, I ain't got time today. I'm not on that type of time. Yeah, but then there's the Ace of Swords, like, uh-uh, you're going to learn today, like, type of energy. That's so crazy. And you sit and witness this, yeah, with the death card. You see Scorpio energy, transformative energy, okay? We have uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here a lot, too. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, and Capricorn. Aries as well. Um... So it's like this person, they may even break up with this person that approaches you all or approaches them, you know? Yeah, with the Nine of Cups. Let's delve deeper real quick. You know, why not? Yeah, Four of Pentacles. This is why you're going to hold back because you're having judgment. You're passing a judgment on this person. With the Nine of Pentacles here. It's like this person is going to be real strategic coming towards you. They're going to take their time, but then they're going to approach you still. With the king of wands, this person wants to take charge. Like they look good. They smell good. When they want something, they're going to go after it with this ace of cups here. It's like this person, they may got like some, uh, I don't know, addiction just popped up. But it's not really that. It, it could be like a sexual addiction, but it's like they have this attraction towards you as well. With the four of cups. This is like a manifestation card. How it looks here, it's like turning a negative into a positive. It's like this person is going to use that truth in order to weasel their way back in with you. Yeah, with the Ace of Wands, they have that new beginning after a moment of transformation that takes place, right? Yeah, we have the Justice. So, yeah, Libra Energy, Seven of Pentacles, waiting it out. King of Wands, dictating, like, it's like passionately knowing what the fuck it is you want. Look, with the Seven of Cups, I can't make this up. It's like this person is like, they know what they want and they're going after. A bottom deck is the Ace of Cups. 
and the princess of wands. So this person is gonna, you know, try to ease their way in, say a little something, you know, hey, how you doing? How you been? Like something like that. And then the moment you respond like, oh, I've been okay. Bam, they end and they're going to continuously, you know, with a hangman in reverse. It's like they realize what it is that they want with the two of wands here. Yeah. King of wands passionately knowing what it is they want, willing to wait to make this decision. Okay. What is your feelings towards this person, your person moving forward for Sagittarius? What is their energy moving forward for this we have mirroring each other, self-image, relationships, reflect our wounds, introspection. So it's almost like um, you may be feeling the same exact way or similar ways internally and you're not speaking this outwardly. You're just holding back from this person because you see like this drama taking place. Smash that like button if that's you. Here we have happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. So I feel like the two of you all may go out on a trip or something. It seems like this person is going to continuously try to prove themselves, okay, um, to kind of win you over because it's like some shit happened and they know that you're judging them, okay? Okay, it's like, yeah, talking, interesting, conversing more, awaited messages, arrive, text, call, email, hoovering. So it's like to the point where you're waiting to hear from this person because it's a lot of lighthearted energy and you all are expanding on your happiness. Yeah, here we have unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. Okay, I want to say this, Sagittarius, as you begin also to put that self-love into yourself, right? That love that you have for other people into yourself as well. This also attracts um, like energies that likewise want to put that same love that you're putting into yourself into you as well. So moving forward, this person feels like you're their soulmate. Here we have soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. Okay, heavy Libra energy here as well, too. I just want to point out, they could even be like an Aries moon or rising or North Node or something like that. Yeah, the chaser. This person is going to become the chaser, okay? They may become a little codependent on you. Like once they get you, I see you like, I see them like savoring the moment, okay, to a T. But fear of abandonment issues. It's like this person doesn't want you to have this power over them to where it's like, I'm hearing weak by SWV it's like they get so weak when they come around you and stuff and it's just like this is a real masculine energy that just always want to be poised always want to look you know like they not tripping over anything whether they're a male or a female this is somebody that wants to control how they're viewed okay and then somebody that is looked up to like an entrepreneur in many ways as well here we have seduction that's why I can't make this up this person is really sexually attracted to you Sagittarius I just have to say flirting dating hooking up temptation third party interference okay um that third party could be sneaking in for sure trying to come back but it's like this person is so focused on you they could have a third party trying to seduce them okay for sure i'm not i'm not gonna say that they won't and they can't because this person that they are leaving behind could still want them back i mean a lot of people want this person okay but at the same time, it's like they want to be with someone that they can be themselves and they feel like you're a soulmate to them, that they can really express themselves. That's why they are chasing after you. And they they really sexually attracted to you, too. Yeah. Love. Here we have that unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, attraction, you know, same exact energy. You all are mirroring each other. But here we have that codependent addiction. Right. Remember when that addiction energy came out and codependent is one obsession possession controlling has a block restraint you know one thing is is that this person did constantly try to control outcomes control the narrative okay this may be somebody that's a perfectionist as well yeah here we have outdated thinking conditioning replaying events over and over in your head i feel like you're both thinking about each other consistently and receiving what you need progression arriving moving forward closure issues okay it's like closure to the energy of you all feeling like you want to come back together okay mm, you could really be judging this person though you know um but at the same time i feel like you're mirroring like you're mirroring each other that's the main thing here. So deep down inside, you may still want to reconnect with this person and your energy moving forward says it all, that you're enjoying each other. It's like effortless, okay? 
Yeah, if I part the deck, we even have ascending, transcendent obstacles. That's that rebirth energy, that transmutation energy, right? And then learning, expansion, new phase, and preparing for union. It's like the two of y'all finna get back together, point blank, period, okay? So if this message resonated with you, then smash that like button. And if you want to see more reads like this one, smash that like button. Thanks for your love and support to this channel. Until then, peace and love.